All right, all right. LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Comments Sports Show Live. Okay, folks. You know what? I wanted to get in here tonight, man. It's 1 o'clock, and I don't know how many people are going to be joining the coach, but that's okay. You know, I know some of y'all sleep, and I'm going to do this for an hour, okay? And then I'll be sleep. But, man, boy, 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 the 145-pound division is a trip. These people that are going at it, man, they going at it. And let me tell you something. They ain't stopping. It's all entertaining, though. Very, very entertaining. I can definitely deal with it, man. I can deal with this, okay? Especially when to deal with Megan uh, Runderson. Especially when to deal with her, you know? Because I can sit back and I can be like, you know what? Yep. Megan Anderson. Megan Anderson, boy. Megan in the stuff again. I'm telling my boy, they going in on Megan. <laughs> you know, Megan clapping back, though. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really... I'm impressed, okay? I'm really impressed with... Uh, the back and forth Twitter beef with these people, man. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be entertaining. I tell you what, it's going to be damn entertaining. I tell you that. Then we're going to talk about Nico. Nico, Nico, where you be? Nico Montano. Is Nico Montano alive? Yeah, she is. What has Nico been doing? Okay. I hope Nico been, you know, in there grinding. I hope she's been training, okay? Nico Montano. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody still think that you know I'm just hating on Nico like people get on my nerves with that stuff man just cause I criticize a fighter that they like I'm automatically hating on them like gosh man people are so sensitive man so freaking sensitive like I can't stand it they so sensitive you know what are you guys mad about could I criticize Megan well, I never said I was a Megan fan just not you know but I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna try not to talk too much junk not too much because it's Sunday night it's not a lot of people here you know it'll just be me and then the coach will decide to go to bed yeah but let's cut this music let's cut the music okay we'll cut the music yeah I hear you guys oh man I'm so tired gosh I can't believe I'm just tired I've been working all day. I, I should have held off and just waited till tomorrow to get on live stream. But, you know, it don't matter. I like getting on live stream. And, you know, I'm a, I want to talk a little bit of junk tonight. Just a little bit of junk tonight. You know, just not, not too much, okay? Not too much junk, but just enough to kind of get some people mad and upset, you know? And I just, you know what? I don't know. Is that a bad thing? Is that really a bad thing to just make, make these dudes mad? I mean, it, maybe it is mean, you know? M maybe it is a mean thing, and maybe I should be ashamed of myself. I mean, shut up. You know? Because I can picture these goofballs behind the keyboard just upset. <laughs> Overly upset. Kind of makes me feel good. You know? It just makes me feel good. George is in the house. We're probably going to have a small crowd today. But uh, I tell you, bro, I tell you, I'm exhausted. I am so exhausted. I wanted to get on last night, but God, I was just tired. <sighs> okay, I'm going to stop yawning. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop yawning. It's time for the coach to entertain. It's time for the coach to entertain. Yeah, that's ah, okay, George. I, I kind of like pissing them off sometimes, you know. And yeah, when I talk about Megan Anderson, I know it pisses them off, you know. Um, <laughs> so Megan Anderson, Megan Anderson, well, George, I don't really care. I was pissed off about me and Grisanda getting robbed. Now I was pissed about that because I know she got robbed. She actively, she got robbed. Okay. Um, I don't watch that fight three times and nope, she was robbed. So I'm not even, you know, ain't even going back to it. Me and Grisanda was robbed. And I told the champ, I said, Mina, Mina I said, uh, let the coach comfort you. And I did, you know. I said, Mina, these judges, they cheat you. I understand. I said, you were the foreigner girl, okay. And see, you were already the underdog in their eyes. 
you know, I, I, and, and I said, you were, you probably would have had to get a stoppage to actually beat Jenny Frey. Because Jenny Frey coming off a brutal knockout. So, you know, yeah, they, you know, they got to protect her. You know, me and me and Grisanda, we was having our little chit-chat. But, you know, I'm going to get her back on the show. I'm going to get Grisanda back on the show. And uh, men are, men are going to have, I'm gonna, I'm, I got to get men of Grisanda unfiltered. Some of these fighters, you know, when I try to be all polite with them, they, they get PG-13. But I, I got to have Mena Grisanda unfiltered, just like I had Cindy Dandois unfiltered. I got to have Mena Grisanda. Because I think Mena Grisanda ready to cuss people out, man. She was, she was kind of mad, you know, but she gave me the thumbs up and said, Coach, it's okay, you know. But I want to talk about Megan Anderson. It's been a war, okay. Now, the war on Twitter, the Twitter beef, okay, is between Cindy Dandois, Faith Van Duen, okay, um... Josette Cotton got her a piece of that, and Felicia Spencer. They they all got a, they all got a piece of Megan Anderson, and now you know you had a couple of clowns talking about, Coach get 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 your facts straight. Uh, you know Alicia Megan just came into the ring. She came into the octagon. Yeah, she did. Felicia Spencer said, uh, I want to give Megan Anderson some, some work. See, look, here go the thing, man. This is the thing, okay? They're gonna give they're gonna call out Megan Anderson, okay? Why wouldn't you? I mean, if I was a fighter, I would call Megan Anderson out. I would. Number one, Megan is going to sell your fight. So you just you're going to have Megan, you know, just going off. I'm seriously. You're going to have Megan Anderson going off. Megan going to come up with all kind of controversy. Hell yeah, I want to fight Megan. If I was a fighter, I call out. I'd be like Megan. I will stump you. I will stump a mud hole in your ass, Megan. I would tell her that. You know, if you want a piece of me, I'll stomp a mud hole in your ass. And then it ain't going to be a damn thing you're going to do about it, but you're going to take, take this beating. That's what you're going to do, Megan Anderson. That's what I would tell her, Dean James. That's what I would call her, uh, tell her, Genesis. That's what I would tell her, George Page. I would say that to Megan right now. I would like, look, girl, give me Megan Anderson. That's what i say. And then i say, if you thought Holly Holm whipped your ass, I will stump. I, I I stump a hole. I stump a mud hole in you. That's what I would tell her. Cause you, you know you can make you can probably make some money fighting me. Cause Megan, you know she gonna talk. Her microphone skills are the best. Okay. And I think Megan could go in there, make make us some money, and then I beat her up after after Megan make us our money. I'd be like Megan, go get that money. Come on, talk junk to me. Say whatever you want. That's what I say. Hey. I do a battle royal with Megan right now. I if Megan said, "Coach, put me on now. I, I'm, I'm gonna go in on you." I'd be like, "Yeah." I'd be like, "Yep, I sure would." I make it a pay per view. Coach versus Megan. Okay, live on live stream. Okay, Coach versus Megan. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, that'll be a pay per view event. I I charge everybody except for George Page. Charge the rest of y'all ten dollars, okay? Me versus Megan Anderson on live stream. I make it a pay per view live stream. Man, you know it'll be eighty twenty though. I give Megan twenty percent of the proceeds because I'm the A side. I'm the A side here. Me, if me and Megan go head to head on live stream, I am the A side, okay? Megan ain't the A side. I'm the A side. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. It'll be Megan will be the A side, but I ain't taking no twenty percent. I ain't taking no 20%, okay? I am taking no 20%. But I'll go in. I mean, I, I, yeah. But you know what? I would give Megan, you know, I would give Megan, since I'm not well known, she is. I, I make it 60 40 in favor of Megan, okay? So that means if uh, we do pay per view for every $10 we got, I get four and I give Megan six, because Megan is the, the, pay, the MMA star, okay? Megan's the MMA star, so I would do that. And then I get on here and verbally abuse her. I verbally assault her. Like, not tear it down, but we can, we can argue. Me and Megan Anderson, we can be in here arguing. Okay, General Africa is in the building. Man, you guys, go subscribe to General Africa. I got, uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so tired. Man, I'm exhausted. I should have I should have did something. Golly, I should have just came on earlier, man, but I was out. I ain't, I ain't stop training people to a 12. So, okay, let's talk about this beef. Let's talk about this one. Let's talk about this featherweight beef. Okay? 
Let's talk about the featherweight beef. The featherweight beef is crazy, man. Okay, so Felicia Spencer, she called out Megan Anderson, and Megan Anderson came into the octagon. And basically, you know, Megan telling everybody, you know, <laughs> okay, overlooking you, your last fight was two years ago at 135, and you lost. They also didn't pick you for tough, so what makes you think they're going to sign you now? I don't make my fights, the UFC does. Now, I agree with Megan. Megan, the UFC don't make her fights because she ain't got that kind of work, okay? Uh, yeah, so Faith Van Duen was like, yo, <laughs> Megan, you overlooking me. Then she had Felicia, uh, Felicia Spencer calling out. Then Cindy Dendois got in and told her, <laughs> told her she was scared of <laughs> Cyborg. That was funny. Cindy told her she's scared of Cyborg, and Josette Cotton told her to get the F out of here. Like, all of these featherweights, they ganging up on Megan. But I think they know, man. Everybody want a piece, okay? Everybody want a piece of Megan. Four times. I see your comments. I see them right now, okay? I see you too, Genesis. I had to put the phone down and, okay, hold on. Yep, Genesis, I'm up. The crate, the comments don't show up, man. That YouTube, yeah, YouTube on some stuff, man. YouTube on some stuff. Yep, I went to I went to go put the butt fun, give the butt fun to Cindy, and you know YouTube, I guess they're gonna give us our YouTube compensation on Monday, and I told Cindy that she get the butt fun on the twenty second, you know, she didn't get it. And, you know, I kind of said, Cindy, you know, hey, dang it, even pissed off. Nah, Cindy ain't pissed off. Cindy don't really care. Cindy ain't going to put that, Cindy putting that logo on her butt, though. She going to do it. I told her she was. I said, Cindy, you going to put that logo on your butt like I told you. So, she ain't got a problem with that. But they they killing Megan Anderson, man. Like, everybody ganging up on Megan, man. And it's funny. It, you know, I wish this could have been live, man. Like, I wish I could have had them all live on this live stream and just had them arguing with each other. Do you know, man, that that thing, man, that'll be promoting the hell out of these people. But, you know, I don't even think it's a way I can get them on at the same time. It'd be nice, though. Like, pull an area Hawani on them. You know, set them up so they don't be fussing at each other. But everybody got on Megan. I think Pam Sorison, <laughs> Pam Sorison got on Megan behind. Okay, Josette Cotton was on Megan behind. I mean, you had Faith Van Duen. Shoot, Faith got knocked out by Cyborg getting on Megan behind. <laughs> it's like everybody pulling Megan's whole card. Everybody. But y'all, Megan is a mark. Okay? And I'm going to put that out there. Megan Anderson is a mark. She's a mark. The reason why she a mark, man, because don't nobody respect her. Ever since that Holly Holm fight, people, hey, you want to go talk uh, trash to somebody? Oh, crap. Just talking about Megan Anderson. That's what they've been doing. Okay? They, you got featherweights coming out the blue. Then you have Felicia Spencer, five and zero, a newcomer, a newcomer talking about Megan. I want some work. I want some of that work. They saying it. They saying it. And you know, Megan, you know, getting pissed. But Megan shouldn't be mad. I mean, come on. They giving you free publicity. That means everybody want to get a piece of that. Okay. If I was a featherweight, if I was a female, you know. I want to go get me a piece of that. I would. I'd fight Megan. I'll fight in a minute. Shoot, Megan going to put some extra money in my pocket. Like, guys, when Megan Anderson got beat by Holly Holm, that video did some good numbers, okay? I put it up there. I put the numbers up. You know, I looked at the numbers on that video when I did a post-fight analysis. Man, that video did good. Did real good. So I know Megan Anderson can make the coach some money, okay? Every time. Every time I talk about Megan Anderson, video views are good. You know, and sometimes I just, I look at what she's trending and I talk about it. I can say Megan digging a book out of her nose. And people watch that crap. I don't know why. I don't know why. And deep down, I am making some of these guys mad. I know. And the thought of some goofy, of some goofy dude with glasses on, some goofy fat dude with glasses on, that, that's what I think about when I think, some about, some, uh, when I think about some of these dudes. But they love Megan. They love me. Megan can piss on these guys, okay? Megan can piss on these guys. 
and they would take the piss, they put the piss in a bottle, and they would sell that piss on eBay. Hey guys, wanna buy my Megan Ender piss? I will sell some Megan Ender piss to you. God dog it. Mm, mm. Well, I got a little song for y'all. I got a little song for y'all. And it goes like this. I went to the party. No, okay, hold on. I went to a party and I seen some mud ducks. I didn't invite Megan because she told her this sucks. I bet you're all happy you're listening to me and not some goofy featherweight wanna be less rock. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, just made this up now, hold on, hold on, I just made this up, all right, y'all ever heard the song by Willie Nelson, on the road again, I can't wait to get on the road again, or something like that, okay, well, out of song for Megan Anderson, when she fought Holly Holm, whip your ass again, Holly Holm can't wait to whip Megan's ass again. I know whipping Megan's ass. Ah, oh, dang it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I messed up. I messed up. Okay. Whip your ass again. Holly Holm can't wait to whip Megan's ass again. I thought, I saw Megan running down the street from Cyborg. I saw Megan running down the street from Cyborg. Because she's scared to get her ass whipped again. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, man, that's number one. That's number one. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Got another one. Got another one, okay? All right. All right. Oh, by the way, these are true stories. These are all true stories. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right, I got a song. Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> okay. Little Megan Anderson, no, Little Megan Anderson nerds, you must be high. Never in your life will you get a piece of poutine pie. I know you all hating this rap that I be, but you just, you just trying to get too mad at me. Let's rock. Because I know you Megan Anderson simps just want to drink pee. Let's rock. Uh Everybody, let's rock. Mm. The Megan and the Simps don't have no balls in they jock. But we're dancing cuz Megan sucks. I don't know. I'm trying to sing a song. All right. <laughs> hey, but I got another song. Got another song. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. All right. Devil went down to Georgia. All right. Devil went down to Georgia. Run Megan, run Megan, run Megan, run. Run Megan, run Megan, run Megan, run. Megan, run Megan, run Take down skills, you know you got none. Shit. Oh, dang, I cuss. Trying to be cool, but you know you're not hip. That's okay. Holly Holm punched you in the lip. Dun 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 dun. Run, Mega, run, Mega, run, Mega, run. Dun 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 dun. On the ground skills, we know you got none. Dun 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 dun. Oh man, that's number one with a bullet. That's number one. But yeah, man. So they all calling out Megan, okay? They all calling out, and just they calling out, man, because they know that's easy work. Look, they saw Holly Holm. They saw the game plan that uh, Holly Holm did. And they all looking at Megan like, yo, guess what? Guess what? I bet you. I bet you money. Okay? They seen Holly Holm whip Megan ass like that. And they probably thinking, man, I'm just going to take her to the ground. I ain't going to try to stand with her. I'm just going to take her to the ground. And I can do that. Shoot, Pam Bam Sorison wants some of that. Cindy Dandois wants some more of that. Dandois already beat Megan. Okay? Cindy Dandois wants some more of that, okay? You got Felicia Spencer, the phenom, okay? Felicia Spencer, the phenom, want a piece of that. They want a piece of it, okay? They do. 
They all want a piece. <laughs> oh, man. Man. And it's like, you know, they, they I guess they figured, man, we ain't getting Cyborg. We're not going to even get Cyborg. They they, they kind of done left Cyborg alone. Josette Cotton. Okay? Josette Cotton want a piece of me. Man, look. Every featherweight with their right sense of mind, they want to get them a piece of Megan, man. I'm telling you. Because they know, man, they know that the formula, look, the blueprint is out there, okay? And I know some of these Megan attractors, oh, coach, you know, you're always making videos hating on Megan. Well, I ain't, I ain't hating on her. <laughs> I'm just stating facts. I'm stating facts. These are facts. Yeah, I know I'm laughing and I'm making up songs and all this. I'm making up little songs. The songs, you know, the songs are not facts. But what I'm saying is that, I, look, man, you got you got flyweights, you got featherweights, man, you got bantamweights disrespecting Megan. You got bantamweights disrespecting Megan. Like, are you serious? Like, how you gonna let these women from these smaller weight classes like disrespect you? Like, God, dog, if Megan gets strawweights disrespecting her, man, I'm a, I'm gonna laugh. Armageddon finna break loose up in here, y'all. But they giving they giving it to him, man. Josette Cotton, Josette Cotton giving it to him. Okay, Felicia Spencer giving that at work. Cindy Dendois giving that at work. Man, this good and bad for Megan. This is a good thing because at the end of the day, Megan getting a lot of publicity, and people don't get that. Okay. Oh crap. Yeah, Dennis Espinosa. Yeah, we do, man. But yeah, y'all, I want y'all to think about that for a minute, okay? Now, I know I know people will sat back and say, Coach, I'm, I'm picking on her. I'm just making fun of her. I'm not making fun of her. Hell, she got enough. Look, she got enough people that do that already. I'm not picking on her. All I want to see, okay? I want to see how she going to answer all that. Like, I want Megan to get on, get, I want Megan to get on the microphone and be like, I ain't scared of none of them. And she not. I mean, she'll fight them. Because they ain't cyborg. If it was cyborg, whew, guess what? <laughs> like Genesis Green says she want to be. Genesis ain't, ain't had her first pro fight yet. See? This is what I'm talking about. You got people, okay? You got people that, that legitimately, they want a piece of Megan after seeing a Megan get her ass whooped by Holly. And that's what that was. It was an ass whooping. I don't care if he when, when Megan had some good striking, she did. Megan had a couple of good points in the fight. I will admit that. I will say that. But, but, Holly Holm whooped her ass. I mean, that was an ass whooping. It was. Ass whooping one-on-one. -on -one. And, and you can't say nothing. That That's just how that is. just the way that is. That's just the way that is. I mean, we can get mad. We can debunk, debate. Ain't no debating that, okay? We saw the carnage. Megan Anderson, volunteer purse, she got slapped around that octagon. Couldn't do nothing. Holly Holm just put her on the ground and laid there. I'm shocked Megan couldn't get up, though. Megan, a bigger, stronger fighter. I'm shocked she couldn't get up. Holly Holm put a number on her, Okay? I'm helping you. I'm helping Megan out right now. I'm sitting here talking junk. And because I'm talking junk, I'm, I'm helping her. Every little bit counts. I mean, come on. Now to be thanking me, man. But do, do, do Megan's team give me any appreciation for helping promote her? No, they don't. No damn, no, I mean, no, no nothing. What do they do? They get mad. They get upset, you know. And here I am helping promote their young fighter. God dog, God dog, these nerd people, these nerd people, and I sat back and I thought, man, what well, they ungrateful, ungrateful, I was promoting Megan when I was at 4,000 subs, 3,500 subs, I was still promoting Megan, you know, now I'm just doing it not as a fan anymore, I'm not, man, I'm going to see Megan fight Felicia Spencer, that's what I want to see, okay, I want to see Megan fight Felicia Spencer. Okay? I want to see. I bet that will be a good matchup. Felicia Spencer. She got educated feet, man. She got ed, She got an educated kicking game. 
Felicia Spencer's kicking game is on point. Okay, I love it. She does a great job with that too. Um, I think she can beat Megan because I think she's a little bit more well-rounded. Now, I don't know about Felicia's chin. I don't know, okay? Um, I don't know if Felicia's chin can hold up. I don't think her chin has ever been tested, in my opinion. But if Felicia kicked you in your chin, you're probably going night-night, okay? You're going night-night. <laughs> Beverly Rose, Boxing and Entertainment. Beverly Rose, I'm just on here talking some junk. About to fall asleep on these jokers. I'm about to fall asleep. Yep. Genesis. Yeah, Holly is strong. I ain't gonna lie, she's strong, but, you know, she still, she still whooped Megan's ass. Until my man just whooping ass all around Octagon. I kind of felt bad for Megan then when she came and made those statements, you know. And she tried to talk about, well, there's a coach online and think he knows about fighting. I don't think I know. I understand fighting. I can break down your fights. Hell, you should be listening to him instead of complaining. I could. I break down Megan damn fights. I mean, all that support I gave her, I even did a damn video on what she did right. God dog it. Do you think she appreciative? No. Damn it, Megan don't appreciate a damn thing people do for her. All I did. No, I said she can have all this. Like, what's all that? I give you this lettuce for this salad. That's what you get. Now, go on, now I'd be like, go in there and make me a salad. <laughs> make me a salad. And if you put cheese and milk on it, I don't know your name. But go make me a salad. Yep, Beverly Rose. Megan got a big ass mouth. Okay, let me see. Genesis. Dennis says she lifts like 210. Yeah. Yeah, Holly Home, Holly Home Strong. Trying to think. What were we doing? Oh, Beverly Rose. Yeah, she called me out. Yeah, she called me out. And and I knew who she was talking about, okay? I knew who she was talking about, you know, saying that, you know, people thinking they coaches online and all that stuff. I am a coach. Why the hell am I going to call myself coach? Shelton Harrison, if I'm not a coach, that's just stupid. That name's unique, okay? That name is very unique, coach, okay? Yeah, Arpit, Megan talked the talk, and she ain't walking the walk. She ain't walking the walk, she's gonna piss on the walk. Mm. Then it said, Holly's. George Payton, Holly's toss. Ah, oh, man, come on. Come on, man. We're not getting sexual. We're not getting graphic. We're not going to do that. Okay? We're not doing that. No. She probably is watching. This ain't the first time. This ain't the first time. Me going to watch this channel before. Okay? Yeah. Well, Brianna Jameson. Is that Brian Jensen in disguise? It's pretty pathetic that these little overweight bantamweights try to get attention on social media. That's the Conor McGregor kind of effect Megan has. Uh, no, they're, they're not overweight bantamweights. Felicia Spencer is a legit featherweight. Uh, Cindy Dandouard fights, use that 155. But they don't have a 155 weight class, so she fights at bantamweight. Okay? Josette Cotton is definitely not a bantamweight. Okay? She'll never be a bantamweight. She's too big for that. Okay? How are you going to explain that? Those are facts. Okay? And if you don't believe me, all the people that I just named that's beefing with Megan Anderson, they're not bantamweights. Okay? The people that I Faith Van Duen is not a bantamweight. Okay? Well, that's not her main weight. She fought at a featherweight for a while. So it's Faith Van Duen, Cindy Dandua, Josette Cotton, and Felicia Spencer also called out, you know. So, I mean, it is what it is. Okay? Those are featherweights. Those are featherweights. Okay? Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Okay? 
I don't know if we need to get you a pop tart, a popcorn pop tart fart. You know, I don't know. I'd be content getting you a pop, a popcorn pop tart fart. You know, I get you that. Mm. Wow, man. These nameless souls, hot diggity dog. These nameless, faceless souls. Mm. But you fat. And you're not really a, a girl. Yeah, Brittany, I was just talking to you. Duh! She got slapped. She got slapped hard with that wrench. Slap! General Africa slapped the taste out your mouth, baby. You got the taste slapped out your mouth. <laughs> now get your monkey ass off the coach's screen. <laughs> uh, Brittany, for about just a half hour, I just got settled in. Been doing them long training sessions, you know? Them long training sessions. Yeah, George, YouTube killing me in full time, man. You know what, though? I think they see that me in full time, I think they see we up and coming. I, I honestly do, man. I I don't know. Maybe me in full time, we just too vocal, you know? I don't know. Because he tell it like it is, and I tend to tell it like I want to tell it. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay, guys, it is what it is. I've been picking on Megan for about a half hour. Okay? I've been picking on Megan for a half hour. And guys, yeah, I know, I know. Some big coach, man, you know, you're picking on her and picking. I'm not really picking on her. It's, it's, Megan do this to herself. Okay? Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I'm telling y'all. Listen. Okay? All of these featherweights that's calling her out, they done seen Cyborg do the work. Okay? They have seen Cyborg do all the work, and now, guess what? I mean, I'm sorry. They've seen uh, they've seen Holly Holm do all the work, and now, guess what? Now they're going to try to mimic the same game plan. But I'm going to tell you, some of them fighters, though, they try to stand with Megan. Megan, Megan will put them down. Megan got a right hand. Her right hand is good. She load up on it, catch you with it. It's night-night. It is night-night. Brittany, the war machine, said hey to the general. She said hey to George Page. No, hey, well, whoever it is. Stay, stay there. Brittany said hey, general. Yeah, man, I'm with you. You said Megan got knees still, wolf. Let's see, five dislikes, hit the like button to show. Hey, man, appreciate it, but, but you know what it is, man. But you know what it is. They gonna hate. They really like, see, George, they really like these videos. They really do like them, okay? They just don't know how to express themselves, but they really like them. I promise you. They really like them. Man, they be sitting here thinking about how can they get in on the action. That's what they be wanting. They want me to pay attention to them, too. But, you know, you probably you got some little goofball, man. I'm telling you, it's some little goofball who, you know, look like he, you know, maybe 55 pounds, maybe too overweight, sitting in front of a computer, got all slob and spit and mucus all over his keyboard. Mouse probably got... Psh Sorry, doodle stains on it. Okay. Chair probably didn't change colors because, you know, his fat ass been farting in the chest so, much, so many times. Darren chair and changed colors. Got on a t-shirt. Got on a t-shirt that he can't even wear because, you know, dude is a punching bag with, with, with titties. That, that's what these guys thumbing these videos uh, down look like. Yeah, man, some of these dudes ain't washed their ass in five days. Seriously. Huh. Damn. But it's but it's kind of fun. Who cares about them? Let's talk about Amanda Nunes. Amanda Nunes is a fraud, people. She's a fraud. Nobody everybody's saying, Well yeah, you know, she wanna wait till she's completely healed. Amanda been healed. Amanda been healed. They can say all she wants. They better do something. 
Yep, I'm here. Haha. <laughs> yeah, General Africa, Amanda Nunez don't really care. She only care about herself, you know? But she been exposed. <laughs> Girl don't want this fight. I wouldn't even be surprised about December she have an injury. I mean Excuse me. I'm trying to think what am I saying? Yeah. Well, whatever. Whatever it is. Okay. Well, did I say Papa has a plan? What was I going to show? I was supposed to show something on Amanda Nunez, okay? I can't remember. But Amanda, they cleared you to fight. <laughs> you knew that lie was only going to last for so long. And now look at you, Amanda. Now you finna go in here and you finna, you know, you finna take another ass whooping. Yep, right here. What's up, Reggie the Tree? What's up, man? What's going on? Everybody with it. Alright, so Valentina Shevchenko. Nico Montano is good, boy. Valentina and Nico, they've been kind of quiet lately. I guess they're too busy training. Okay, I know Nico probably in there trying, trying to get it in and lift weights because Nico had to be as strong. She's going to have to be as strong as she can be. Oh, really? Let me see. Full time. Amanda said on UFC. I'm filtered. She needs to put time, weight on 145. She wants to put on more muscle before the fight and stuff. Yeah, full time. I just laugh, man. I laugh at Amanda. Amanda's so full of crap. Yeah, she got to put on muscle, all right? Yeah, she got to put on muscle. Yeah, Amanda. Amanda knows she finna get her ass whooped. Because they called Cyborg out in 2017. Here it is 2018. And you, st man, please. Amanda Nunez tripping. Amanda Nunez tripping, okay? Amanda tripping. She don't need to put no muscle on. She don't need to put no muscle on, please. She do not need to put no muscle. She got a muscle. She got a muscle ass head. Okay, she don't need that time. Look, Amanda Nunez done, look, she done fought several fighters, man. She fought Edian Gomez. I mean, she fought Gomez and then had to go right back down to 135. I mean, how are they going to explain this? Uh, I don't know how she going to explain this, y'all. Full time, your comments. Yeah, man, I see you loud and clear, man. Yep, Brian, Amanda is a fraud. Dang. I just don't have the roasting energy, but, you know. Yeah, I don't know if she said she needs muscle mass, but she's been doing that for a while. Amanda just need to go on and face the music. Get you a couple of shots in there. And if she hit you too hard and you still want to remain, I'd be like, yo, stay there. Just stay there till we done. <laughs> and that's what he would have did. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Valentina, guys, Valentina, Valentina, Nico. That's gonna be a good. It's gonna be a good fight. It's gonna be a little one-sided, but it's gonna be very good. Okay. Man. Wow. Reggie said, my brother, the general, from bodybuilding knowledge, most BD ballers are weakest when they are in correction. Didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna Jansen. I think Brian and Brianna are the same person typing to each other. Mm. 
Yep. Yeah, so let's talk about this robbery, man. And then I'm going to get out of here because I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm punch drunk. Okay. Um, Mina Grisander and Jean Euphray. Mina Grisander, in my opinion, was robbed. Uh, she was robbed. Let me see. Brittany was questioning that. Yep. Let me see. He makes YouTube account after you can intros. Okay, who does that? Oh, Brianna Jensen. I think Brianna and Brian are the same people. Oh no, he's trolling Brian. I dig it out. Oh, okay, Stuart, man, man. Well, I got an idea. Check this. You know how we do. Now, get your monkey ass off the coach's screen. <laughs> that's how you do it. See, that's how you block him. I ain't block him. I block the sh out of him. <laughs> Where we at here? Let me see. Where we at? We got 15. Y'all do is no better. I don't know why y'all tripping. You gonna get, see? Get slapped with that wrench, boy. Can't do nothing else. <laughs> Sick old dudes. Yep. Okay, what bitch Genesis Green who she's fighting up oh, Batch Co I don't know who Batch fighting, I can't tell you. Oh yeah. Mena Grisanda, yeah, yep. I thought she was robbed. I thought Mena Grisanda did enough, man. She was pressing the action. She was throwing she was fighting mostly on the inside, but you know, when she was out of range I thought she jabbed good. She did a lot of good things right, but you know, they had to give it to Jean Euphray. They gave it to her. They sure did. Managing you. It's got to suck. Yeah. That's got to suck. Okay. <laughs> George, I thought you were going to ring up Sarah. <clears throat> yeah. George Page, it could be Sarah. Uh, no, nah, I ain't going to read that. Okay. So here it is, guys. This stream, I'm trying to, like, conjure up energy to stay awake, but the coach ain't going to be here to stay awake on this one, guys. Uh, this one was fun. I'll be rested tomorrow, y'all, and then i get lit, real lit. It's a lot of news going on. Let's yep. Okay, folks, this is my outro music, and then it's going to be a wrap. You know what, full time, I think Nick Pano or whatever that is, that's, yeah. I think that's somebody from their team. Well, you know, one of her editors, the people that write articles for her, he done been on this channel, man, multiple times. Like, what's his name, Dre Craig's, and then nutritionist, uh, not nutritionist, but her psychologist, um... She go to who Mel Gibson went to, I think. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I am going to get some rest, man. Thank you, Reggie the Tree. Try to hate, but... Hey, hey, what we? Yeah, man. Yeah. Man, I don't know what them Nico trolls at, Brian. <laughs> he called him a troll. Well, folks, I want to thank y'all for joining me tonight. On behalf of the comment thread and the combat panel, 
this is your boy coach Sheldon Harrison I'm done what are you waiting on subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube